Hello, this is Limeade Legend. And this is the first time I, my voice is going to be heard on YouTube. So today I'm going to be talking about autism and the struggles I've had with it. One of them is knowing how to dress. It has taken me longer to care for how I dressed. Because literally, six-year-olds think they need to be fashion models. But it took me till I was like 13 or 14 years old to literally care how I dressed. And then another one is crying at random. Sometimes if I'm having a bad day and I get stressed, I'll cry. And people consider everything a meltdown. People don't always get the autistic community. How they can just get so nervous and stressed and anxious than neurotypical people do. And then another one is self-criticism. I started criticizing myself at a very young age, since fifth grade when I was only 10 years old, going on to 11. But when I got to high school, I started criticizing myself a lot more. And it turned out I wasn't the only person criticizing myself. Students would make fun of the fact that I didn't know how to do certain things. And teachers just expected me to be grown up. And this is hard even on a neurotypical person. It was just almost unbearable. And then another one is getting obsessed with random things. I could explain a list of things I've obsessed over the years. I became obsessed with iReady in middle school, which is funny because a ton of kids hated it. But math was hard for me, and it was nice that I didn't have to listen to a boring lesson. A boring math lesson. And those things were stressful. And what I liked about iReady is the fact that I was taught by characters how to do math. And I could go at my own pace. I just liked the fact that I could feel like a little kid again. And then another thing is growing up. How many of you didn't want to grow up? Most teenagers want to grow up. I still um, am a little nervous about growing up, and I'm 17 years old. And then another thing is self-awareness. If you do have autism, if you can you relate to wishing you didn't know that you're different than others? And then another thing is taking things literally. All I can say is, this can be hard. When I was younger, I um, was very nervous and I did come off as rude and I lost friends. And so I took things literally. I went to this gymnastics place and there were kid and all the other kids were younger than me. And there was a sign on the wall that said, Every child is a story yet to be told. And I thought it was saying a bad thing. Because it said, Every child is a story yet to be told. Like, my story isn't a good story. That it's a story about a rude, disrespectful child. I was nine years old. Like, this was hard, as you can imagine. Anyway, leave a like to this video if you found any of it relatable, and share it with your friends if you want to. Have a nice day, guys.